I don't know about you, but I could sure have a cup of coffee. I do sympathize, sir. Things have been rather slow to progress. Slow? My godson's best friend is faster than that lot, and he's a 47-year-old tortoise named Peppy. Believe me, I'm the director of this base, and I've been fighting those stuffed shirts for long enough to know that they have no intention of mounting a rescue mission anytime soon. Tell me, have you been through Neptune's reports? Twice, sir. Well, I've been through them three times, and I understand less than ever. Space Maidens, alien forces, all manner of weird and strange, unexplainable happenings. You tell me, what's truly happening up there? At least the commander sounds calm in his reports. Ray's a fine man, a fine astronaut. And what did we do? We sent him up there with a civilian crew, totally unsuited to long-term space travel. Oh, General, they may not be seasoned space veterans, but they were trained in their respective fields. Nothing can alter the fact that we owe them a duty of care. Hang the board. We're launching tomorrow. But, sir... Just think of them. All alone up there. Stranded 33 million miles from home. We can only imagine the hells that they must be enduring right now as we speak. When a Martian girl <laughs> loves a Martian boy Does her heart start dancing and kind of beat with joy Does she find that party is very hard to do just the same as I do When I'm leaving you Does she feel the thrill Of his Martian charm Does she want to linger In his Martian arms Does she feel the 